Hey guys, it's Pi, and I hope you're ready for some more bread. Because today, we're going to do the new ending. The ending that just dropped today in today's update. I'm of course talking about the homecoming ending. Let's get started. You wake up in the middle of the night, hungry, objective, head to the kitchen. Just like every other ending. You're going to start the same way. By going to the kitchen and getting some bread. So you guys have absolutely been eating up all the bread that I've been laying out. And I can't thank you guys enough for your support. Make sure that if you want to see more bread content, that if you want to see whenever the newest updates are out, the newest endings come up, the newest screenshots are released, that you come here for all your bread needs. We've got the grain. All you got to do is hit that sub button. You require bread, but you don't want to eat it here because of the coal. Objective. Return to your bedroom. Just like you've done many, many times before, you're just going to return to your bedroom and eat the bread in your warm bed. Very, very, very warm, scrumptious bread. And then you look at this note. Dear Diary, I'm sorry I couldn't write anything yesterday, but Sam has put a lot of his boxes in the hallway. I could not get in my room. He said something goes wrong, and I should be downstairs. Then you go back to sleep with that thought in mind. The next day, you wake up hungry. Once again, you head downstairs. Objective, follow the breadcrumbs back to the kitchen. And so we shall. You feel like something is missing. They are, of course talking about the bird jump scare. Head to the kitchen. Anyone. And so we shall. To collect more bread. A bird just flew in through the window and eaten all of your breadcrumbs. <gasps> you arrive at the kitchen once again. But the bread is not on the counter. Objective. Find the bread. Here's another note. Hey Sal, if you get home, please tell Sam to come downstairs. If he has been upstairs for very long and we are worried, make sure to get something he likes ready, like bread with some strawberries. Oh, and be quiet. Sarah doesn't feel very well. We must find the bread. And there it is, on the couch. The bread is frozen. We need to defrost it, and fast. Find a way to defrost the bread before time runs out. You look towards the oven. Yes, yes, not the toaster. We must use the oven. Come on, oven. Why does that keep happening? <gasps> Shoot, the power went out. Restore power to the house using the generator outside. So, so far, this has been exactly like the good ending, and it's going to be exactly like the her ending. So you come out here to the fuse box. I feel kind of dizzy. You turn on the power. Okay, time to defrost the bread. Go and enjoy your meal. But then, Miss Breadbins gives you a visit. What was that? Search the house for clues, or defrost the bread in the oven. You could live in 
ignorance and eat your bread or you could find the truth. And today, we choose to find the truth. We head upstairs. And there's Miss Bread Bins again in all her glory. You're scared, so you run into the bathroom because Miss Bread Bins is really, really creepy and she yells Cyrillic alphabet -y things at you. I wonder if it saw me. First, grocery list. 9 by 19 millimeter parabellum, BC 41, pineapple, spaghetti for Sal. <laughs> you can't do this right now. <laughs> That's funny, I didn't know that could happen. So you walk out into the hallway, and what did Miss Bregbins leave other than bloody, bloody footprints? You come into this room. Sam's room. What a mess. You see another note. My father has been at his work for weeks now. He's the owner of the company. When I called him, he told me not to worry about anything. They were just running behind. He promised to teach me more about thorium and how it behaves in a magnetic field. I decided to go find out myself instead. I might be able to power my new project with it, says Sam. Then you see a key on the wall. I could use this key for something. You go back into the hallway and you see the only door that was previously locked and you can now enter. Yeah, that wasn't very scary now, was it? You hear a knock on the door. I wonder who's at the door. The lab has been struggling over the past few days. We need you to return and help with the bread prototype. We don't know how long it will take, but if you disregard this message, there will be a lot of blood on your hand. Somebody's at the front door. We must answer the door. Hey, is anyone there? Could you please let me in? Susan, are you there? He finally came home. He came back from the lab just for you. You were not hesitant to greet him at the door. But he was not there. I wish he could come home. And there's the badge, the homecoming badge. So what all this means in the lore is that you're playing as Sal. This is all um, con conjecture, 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 subjective, yeah, subjective conjecture, <laughs> subjective conject. You get it. You're playing as Sal, and Sal is he's cooped up in his room a lot of the time, and he really only comes down to eat bread. I mean, what other life is there to live? Well, <clears throat> Sam, who is your dad, works at this lab, and they made the bread project, and they turned Sarah into the bread monster that we saw in the last ending that's been tormenting you. At least I think Sam is your dad. I could be wrong about that. But Sam is the one in the room with, you know, the experimental notes. And so you think that your dad, Sam, has been gone for a very long time. And when he comes knocking at the door at 5 in the morning, you think that 
you think that he's finally here, but it's actually just a trick. It's actually just a trick played by Sarah, your sister. And he's not actually at the door. Yeah, that's pretty sad. This is this game is getting pretty pretty deep. Pretty deep. This is a lot deeper than just making toasted bread and soggy bread. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed Miss Bread Bins as always. If you want to make sure not to miss any bread content, make sure to hit that subscription button down below. Also, you can join my Discord. You get access to all of my videos early. And shout out to the bread developers. We've been talking back and forth in their Discord. It's a very fun Discord to be in. They, they have a lot of passion in this game, so it's really fun to see them updating and adding new new endings. All right, leave a like. It really helps out. Subscribe if you've not yet subscribed, and see you guys next time.